Good morning, Internet! Is that weird? Is that weird for you to be here? Or good morning, Internet? You should say good morning, Internet. I don't know if I can have the same like. Come on, answer. do it. Do it. Good morning, Internet. Ah, morning? See, that sounds pretty good. You can work on that. Have that, that radio voice going on. Today we are going back to the old apartment. So if you guys haven't listened to the podcast, we rented a townhouse. They never fixed the heat. We bought a house because the payment was half the price. It was way cheaper. So now we are on our way back over there because we needed to paint one wall a different color because we painted it black because we thought we were going to stay there a lot longer than we did. Oh, we also thought it wasn't a dump at first. We also thought it was, yeah. So either way, we're going to try and get that done today or at least a good chunk of it done today because I don't have to go to work. So that's where we're going now is to go do that. Or not. Scared the snot out of me. Fair point of how windy it is here. Ah, good lord. So I guess we don't have to paint, which is great. Um, I think I'm gonna do some touch up because the paint's different colored. So they have this like white color, and then we had painted it a gray. So we could do touch up and be nice. But I don't know if I really want to for all the crap that they've put us through. And it doesn't seem like they care. And he's got a whole other gallon of paint, so I don't. I don't think, no, I think they're just going to paint this whole room. Great. Not our problem then. Alright. And uh, we can't, um, I don't know how we're going to defend it and be like, well, we were going to come back and paint. Oh, we have a video. <laughs> we came in here to paint. Here, we should. So. We should. See, you bought these light bulbs too, because the other ones never worked. Now, oh my goodness, these. these are perfect. <laughs> Those were found at my grandmother's house in the attic. Those are great. I love it. Now, the ones I bought are like the LED exposed. Yeah, they're beautiful. Style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they expensive. Were, they were expensive, so I'm taking them. Yeah, absolutely. Because um, they're ours. Yeah, we're giving them the uh, ones from my grandmother's attic. Yep. And now, as a note, we were going to come back and paint that wall as agreed upon originally. They went ahead and painted it anyway, so. so our lease is not up for uh, Our lease is not up for weeks. another two weeks. So, that's, I'm sorry. Well, I ended up working out. You remember that part where you said I couldn't have both the electrical project work and the uh, Oh yeah, work? Steve wanted to work on electrical today. And we were like, well, we gotta either do paint or we gotta do electrical, we can't do both. But apparently we can do both. So apparently we can do both. That's great, so let's go on and work on some electrical. Um, I need to put a couple videos together before I can assist, but you were doing measuring anyway. Well, and even for the cutting, it's not necessarily <clears throat> going to be a... <coughs> no, but <clears throat> we need to like move furniture and stuff around out of there, you were saying? Or, or at cover, least cover it. it. Yeah, otherwise the dust is going to be mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bad. Intense. Oh, goodness. I won't do that to Swift. No, I wouldn't. Nice looking truck, though. All of this for a milkshake! All's milkshake time! All's milkshake time! That was our reward for painting. Right, we just finished much we sooner finished than expected. Way sooner than expected. I don't know if they still have the pumpkin one that I really like. What was it, like a pumpkin pie milkshake? I think it was, yeah. It was delicious! But it's not pumpkin season anymore, so I don't know. I don't know, guys. Let's go find out. Western Pennsylvania favorite. Sheets. Cars only. No vans or trucks. An SUV. Uh, I don't have the truck over there parked in it. No one really listens to that. <laughs> it's milkshake time! Ah, uh, milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. They're like, it's better than yours. Damn right. You want to make one? Okay. That's an Oreo one. An Oreo one? That's fine. What do you want? The Oreo one. What size is that one? I don't know. I guess that one. Brownie? Absolutely. How about some dark chocolate? Whipped cream? All that lovely. Is that anything else while we're here? I don't know. French fries? 
need to film that smile, but you need to film. How'd you do? Or how did I do? Or how did we do? I'm like priming a bump took a while. Uh -huh. it tastes like Oreos. Well, that's good. Oh, I guess my body's sick. I wonder if it's full of the same garbage we're going to Probably. Probably. Did you almost spill the fries? I almost spilled the fries. That's a crime right there. Mission accomplished. Allie can be a fat kid now. Fat, 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 fat. I'll go home. No! No! I'm my friend right Alright, if you're going to buy the bucket, then I get to eat some. I introduced you to Sheets Fries. Mm, nom, nom. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm go All right, let's go home. Go see the pet. Bye. Jet will be thrilled. Hey, video. Speaking of which, Jet makes a terrible guard dog because I went back in there because we forgot the cameras, surprisingly enough. And I went back in there to go grab them, and he didn't budge. He like ran off, and I didn't hear from him. He didn't come run into the door. Nothing. He was just gone. I'm like, wow, thanks, bud. Bye, I guess. We're gonna pretend that he knew it was you, but in reality. In reality, he had no idea. I feel like as a guard dog, he'd be, just want to be friends with He's the worst guard dog. In. He's the worst guard like, dog. Ooh, a person. Hi. <laughs> be my best friend. Take me with you. <laughs> These people are so mean to me. <laughs> oh, so we have scheduled our first... I think I kind of talked about this the other day, but I didn't really get to say much about it. We've scheduled our first trip. When are we leaving in May? I don't remember the exact dates. But we should figure that we're out. We're leaving in May. <laughs> um, and we're going to northeastern Canada? Yes. Where do you want to go? Nova Scotia. The Bay of Fundy? Yes. Specifically, which will be really exciting. Um, well, I've heard about their legendary tides. Maybe we should get that... Um, we should... Can we buy some other equipment for that trip? Anyway, so we're going to go all the way up there. We're going to pick up Wendy on the way. So she's coming with us. Um, and we're going to be for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, right around two weeks. And then we're gonna come back. You say pick up, but it's more like kidnap. Kidnap. Wendy. Yeah, Wendy's coming with us regardless. She, she's had a rough winter, and we are taking her out. Like Wendy, you're coming, you're coming, coming with us. In fact, if she really wants to, because we're gonna come all the way back, and then if she really wants to, she can continue down with us, and we're going to grab the kids for June, and then go to Florida. Because I promised Evie sandy white beaches this summer. <laughs> I told her we'd bring her to some of the best beaches in the country. They're not the 100 percent like Every beach is different for and, and awesome for its own reason. But some of the ones in Florida are really good. We're going to do the west coast in Florida. Um, and then northeastern Canada. Like, northeast, way up there. Right. Um, so that's exciting. We have trips planned. Hopefully we can afford them. That's a bigger question. Uh, but we're really desperately trying to do daily videos again. I am 100% trying to get on that, that bandwagon again so that we can do this. Just do it right or not right. They're just gonna be videos that can be really terrible. I don't know, but at least it'll be daily, so we'll have something. Right here. Yeah. I think that would be toys. I like hanging out with you guys. This is the part we're working towards, so we can put these in the ceiling, in the bedroom, and the office. I was like, why are there so many? <laughs> and then I never get to look through all of these things, but these are our light switches by a company called Legrand. That's a little dusty. Here we go. Hello, LeGrand. Ooh, up to $50 savings per year. What? Using dimmable balls. Ball, ball. <laughs> dimmable balls. <laughs> That's exciting. They're all going to be beautiful. I'm so excited. And then all the cover plates are in here. Yeah. They're going to look great. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Their packaging is not nearly as elegant as their website. <laughs> their stuff looks so good and their packaging looks so terrible. Here they are. More of them. Right, it's all about the actual switches. I'm so excited. Yeah, the product looks great. There's the bikes. We're taking these with us to Canada, but I think we're leaving them for Florida. Um, one, because... We'll, we'll take them to Canada just so we have an extra mode of transportation, but um, we'll see how, uh, how Wendy does. Me and Steve are going to have to do some tandem riding so that he can get used to carrying a passenger. <laughs> it's 
so that when he wants to go for a bike ride, we can go for a bike ride. <laughs> we haven't told her that part yet, so don't watch this video, Wendy. <sighs> you like your window? But I could go on the roof. I'm gonna mark the wall everywhere we need to cut outlet boxes. So there's there, there. Uh, there's a light switch and an outlet here. Two outlets on the bed wall. And then for the window area, there's an outlet on the left and a switch on the left that's gonna drive a light above the window. I had to get a little bit ghetto with our internet equipment because I don't want it to get full of dust. Uh, but I also didn't want it to overheat, so I opened the window and then basically made it part of the outside zone. Jet's not going to be happy in a minute. Yeah, so I'm getting ready to cut holes in the walls and praying that all my math and stud finding actually was valid and we don't actually run into a stud. And because all of that, it, something will go wrong. Getting geared up. Can you need the door closed? Uh, for dust reasons, probably yes. Come on, Jet. Come. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Yeah, it's gonna go to work. You got stuff to do. Jet. Swing. You make a full away. You've been patiently waiting for your dad to be done. One of them actually fell out. Oh, wow. Yeah. You can see the whip line. Oh, why? There, oh, okay. Is that the, the spurring strip? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at it very confused. It's like, what are those? Right. So each that one's, that one's done, and that one's done, and that one's done, and that one's done, and that one is done, and Steve has a big hammer and is about to do the next step. Well, the next step is for the ones that didn't just fall out, I have to take the chisel and knock this piece out. That little oscillating tool does really good work. Uh huh. Oh, very cool. I mean, we had to get a mason rebit because the plaster is so hard. You've but... talked about this already in the videos. I have. Uh huh. What? Take a look at the one to my left. What's wrong with it? There's a stud in the way. There's a stud in the way? You'll see it. Oh. Oops. Ever so slightly. Uh -huh. It's not by much, though. No. I mean, you only have to move over a little bit. You're just creating more drywall repair for me. Correct. I'm minimizing not, which I do that. Yay! You have fun doing that, don't you? Well, that's I satisfying. I shouldn't do it too much because then the wall fills up with it, but mm -hmm. that's my test to see if there's a stud there. Ah! If I can easily knock the And that's why through. that's why the other one you were like, well, that's not well, cool. What about this one? Uh, they run vertically. Not down there though. I know, which is weird. Which means there's probably a board somewhere in here which is gonna really make fishing wires a pain in the ass. Uh-huh. So Or there's just a stud here. That look like a hole. Looks like there's something back there. Well, Go ahead, hit the hammer in there, you'll hit it. See? Yeah. 
You win some, you lose some. Are those the only two? So far, I haven't done the other ones yet. Oh. My computer is rendered practically useless right now anyway, so your timing is very good. At least I think it's going to be useless, I'm not sure. I don't know what this box is. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Now you can tell it's from overseas because they have this, this tape is very particular to the eastern side of the world. Because I know we are on the west. Oh, it says thank you. Oh, I got a thank you card with nothing in it. <laughs> oh! I didn't order this. Did you order that? No. Ooh! Thank you whoever sent the cool Minecraft light. You tap it and it has three light levels. It's a piece of diamond. Oh. Ooh. That's awesome. Does it work already? No. Nope. But that's cool. Oh, it's exciting! Thank you, this is awesome. That's super cool. I gotta put a battery in it. What kind of battery? Uh, it just does not mix. Speaking of packaging, we have sold quite a bit of equipment. And are mailing a bunch of stuff out today. Steve is already taking care of the drone. That went to one of you guys. Thank you, McNugget, for buying our drone. You good, Steve? He's bringing boards upstairs. We're gonna go show you what uh, we discovered upstairs with this wiring project. But now I have to prep this package to go to Nevada. And that's it. Ta-da! Thank you, Amazon. the air pockets. That's pretty exciting, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we could use a little bit more air. I don't have anything in here. I don't know that I have anything for packing material in here. Eh. Alright, so the reason that we had to buy all this lumber, and this isn't even all of it, uh, there's another one of these giant 12 foot boards and there are seven more of these 104 and 5 8 boards, which is apparently a standard size. It's like 8.7-ish feet. I'm guessing it must be when you subtract the top and bottom plates of a wall, some standard height or something. But anyway, uh, we have about 8 foot 6, and I was worried I was going to have to buy 10 foot boards, but they make this size, which is great. And they're like 2 bucks cheaper than... This. But why? Why do you need all of these? Okay, so whenever we were cutting, uh, I did this one first and it hit metal, which was weird. I didn't quite know what the metal was all about. You can see like the corrugated lines. Uh -huh. um, based on where it is in the house, I'm thinking it's actually some sort of metal duct work because the power line that's down here underneath this heater disappears in the basement up into a piece of metal duct work. I think this might be the same duct. Over here is where we basically got confirmation that we were not going to be able to work with this. Uh, this is solid brick right here. And you can see the mortar lines um, up and over between the bricks. So what they did is they basically put a brick wall up and then plastered directly over it. So there's no air gap at all. And if we were going to put a box in here, I would have to chisel this entire thing out. And actually, I'm not even sure how thick it is. Depending on the depth of the box, we may end up in the neighbor's wall, which I don't want to mess with. So we decided that rather than chisel the box and then chisel a line all the way up to where I'm going to get power from, we're just going to stub the wall out and it'll cost four inches, but it'll make my life one heck of a lot easier. And it'll be a nice solid wall. Right. And it'll be probably the only wall in here that's actually built to code. So it would Modern be code. True. I don't know. There just was no code when this right. was built. So. Reminded of the 99PI where they were talking about people love the disorder of cities. Okay. Like there was a car on the street back there. Uh huh which was in my lane facing the wrong direction, like picking someone up from the side of the road. And then, of course, then making an illegal U-turn right after that. Like, you just don't get that kind of stuff when you're not living in a city. No, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> um, and speaking of which, we are on our way to Lowe's, Wolf, and Panera, which I need to order dinner. Um, one, because you know it's like seven o'clock and we're not cooking because we've both been working all day, right? Yeah, I had real work. You had real work. All of my housework. So, we are on our way out. Jet gets to go for a ride. Yuppie puppy. Yuppie puppy. You should have a pretty oh. sunset up here on the left. Ooh. Huh. 
How lovely. Yeah, that's filming beautifully. That's pretty. There's a York Fairground. Anyway, we ran into a brick wall. Did we show the brick wall? We showed the brick wall. We did. Um, and then Steve cut a hole that's like right up against the stud um, in the dormer. So we're going to see if Lowe's carries boxes that are small enough to go in there. Stop looking in the window. Stop it. Yeah, we need a shallow box if we can find it. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try. And if we can't, then we're just gonna move the hole over and have to repair it anyway. Thank you.